Hey traders, this is Ron Hate at Market Tamer. Happy Hump Day. Hope you're having a fantastic day. As always, nothing in this presentation shall constitute a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Trading stocks and options involves risk and specific financial issues should always be addressed with your financial advisor. We'll kick off here with the Spiders, a daily chart of the S&P 500 ETF, which I have a long-term bullish position in. We were down a little bit today. Volume did pick up with us losing just over a quarter percent, but we came off those lows. So since taking out the January highs, we continue to have this ebb and flow with higher highs and higher lows. Again, keep an eye on the red line, which is your 20-day EMA, and then the next support level. And the key one is going to be that 50-day SMA in orange if the selling pressure were to intensify. All right, if we take a look at the diamonds, the Dow, we can see they are not back at their highs just yet, but the Dow is up seven-tenths of a percent today. Again, watch the red and then the orange. If we take a look at the Qs, the NASDAQ, we did pull back today just over a percent. If I go ahead and zoom in, we bounced off the 20-day EMA in red. Remember, the 50-day in orange, that institutional moving average was support in June and July. So if that if we get below the red line, that's the line we want to watch. Below there, that's what opened the doors to more of a pullback. So more of the same in that sense. Um, if we take a look at Walmart, I have a couple stocks to watch here. Walmart was up nicely today. If I zoom in here, this is the target back up here about 102 and a half. Today, we cleared some of these previous highs. This is where I would consider using an eight-day EMA or maybe even a 20-day EMA as a potential end-of-day trailing stop, of course, in a paper trading account. The target initially is 100, and then it's the big target, like I said, 102.50. I like the volume pickup today as well. How about Hershey, HSY? Nice 1.35% pop, big volume, took out the previous high. Gap fill around 108, still, you know, five or so dollars higher is the target. Now, here's a stock that we haven't looked at in a while, and it's sort of a slow death. From 110, now we're down in the 20s. Well, today we jumped up a buck 81, over 5%, and there was big volume. However, there's also some, also some distribution um, during the day where we came off these highs. Now, I would say the, the the initial targets, let's say mid to upper 40s, that's a lot from where a stock at 35 bucks is right now. Then there's this little spike high here at 70. Then there's a gap fill up here. So if this stock were to get things going again, there was such a slow you know, descent that the, the rise here, the ascent, there's not, there's, there's not like a key area to watch. So we might be able to see this sort of same thing take place. And I've seen this time and time again. You know, when you hit those distribution points, that puts a sort of a top on the stock. We really don't have major ones until we get all the way back up into here. Now, I'm not saying the stock's ever going to get there. But for upside technical targets, those would be the areas to watch. Now, what do I want to see? I'd like to see a close above the 50-day in orange, which really didn't happen today. I want a solid close higher, and I want there to be at least average volume. If that takes place, an 8-day EMA or maybe a 20-day EMA would be a trailing stop here. So I'm going to add this to the watch list. I'm going to keep you updated on what I see technically. A good sign today was the volume. Netflix. Netflix had trouble getting over the 50-day. It did it for one day on August 30th, but now we're rolling over. Target's going to be back down here. Low to mid threes, ballpark at 315-ish, then the 200-day moving average. And here's Facebook actually breaking support. The next support level's down at 160, you know, seven bucks lower, maybe like 5%. And then that's the old supply zone, support zone around 150 that I highlighted um, back when the stock had a bad report in March when the stock had trended down. So Facebook, Netflix rolling over, and that's going to put a little pressure um, on some of the um, on the tech industry in, in general. Now, I'm hosting a special webinar Friday. It is invite only. Uh, you can send an email to CS, which stands for customer support at markettamer.com. You can reply back to this email, and I can also get you an invite there. Special event Friday, I'm going to show you the best stocks heading into year end. The absolute best time of the year to trade, in my opinion, is, a, is getting really, really close. It's almost upon us. And knowing which stocks have a historical tendency to rise or fall it can be the difference between an amazing holiday season or, or just, you know, how did I end up picking that stock? That's the stock that didn't move. Whereas if you would have known of these other stocks, could have focused on that one and maybe had an amazing year end. So I'm going to do this. I'm super excited by it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's free. But you have to be invited either for me at Market Tamer or over at Financial. 
um, dot com. If you have any questions, let me know. I wish you guys a fantastic rest of the week and I look forward to seeing you in that event. Take good care.